shop and we are playing with some of the instruments. How does it sound? Pretty good. Pretty good, pretty good. It is so cool in here. It's two stories and everything is like, some things are from the 1800s, which is absolutely incredible and everything's so beautiful. <laughs> Introduce yourself however you want to okay. be introduced. Okay, go. My name is Gabe and I own Blues Vintage Guitars. This is my store. And uh, I'd just like to point out some of my more rare guitars down here. Uh, this one is from 1928. That's a 1928 Vega six string banjo or ganjo. 100% original, which is really hard to find in that condition. The one next to it is actually a 2015 Gretsch. It's a 59 reissue Penguin. A uh, girl out of New York City, uh, her name is Cindy, and it's Cindy Guitars, and she actually burns all the, all the uh, woodwork that you see on that top is all done by her, and she puts it all together. Wow. And then, um, and then that guitar is going to come with a case that's painted by this guy. Um, these cases right here are painted by a guy named James A. Willis. He's actually a pretty renowned artist. He made his name painting New York cityscapes. Zach Brown, he was Zach Brown's wow. mm -hmm. resident artist for about five or six years. This oh my is a gosh. Telecaster guitar lamp. You touch the strings. That's crazy. And it turns on. That's so cool. Isn't that cool? <laughs> yeah. That's awesome. Really rare part of the guitars. Those are from the late 1800s. This is a 1920 Stella with, with a decal. These decals, um, they made several different decals, but um, this is from a period in their history known as decalomania. A bunch of Gibsons. This black one, that Broadway right there from Epiphone, that's a custom built model for an artist here in Nashville. Wow. I bought it from him. This is a, that, that's an Epiphone Jack Cassidy bass. Wow. Um, it's one of two that were made with in, in that color, which is Pelham Blue. Mm -hmm. They were both sent to the bass player for Pearl Jam, Jeff Ament, mm -hmm. and he picked one and sent the other one back. Oh wow! That's, <laughs> and that's the other one right there. That's a that's a that's a limited edition of the same bass that was used by Paul McCartney for oh, many, wow. many years. Mm -hmm. That's a Hofner. That one was made in the year 2000. It's a 5001. It's a super Beatle bass. Well, I got some footage of upstairs. If you want to show us anything upstairs, I know you said there were some like. Yeah, there's really special cool items. Okay. Yeah. More Les Pauls here. That's a 1977 Gibson Les Paul special double cut, which I played the same guitar myself for 20 years. Oh wow! And and Mike Massey probably remembers <laughs> the guitar that I had because I it was the only guitar I had, I had for 20 years. Wow! So I played it forever but that's that, that's not it but I still have the one yeah. guy and so this thing though I can't prove it there, there aren't any records to, to prove it mm -hmm. there was a band in the early late 50s and early 60s that was known as the country playboys mm -hmm. both Buddy Evans and Curly Chalker played with those guys Wow! and the cool thing about this one and the fact that it has the Looney Tunes on there? Yeah. Okay, the, if you've ever watched Looney Tunes mm -hmm. cartoons, the opening of that song is the world's most famous pedal steel lick. 
Uh, yeah. Uh huh. Okay, well, that was played on a pedal of steel. Uh huh. And it was played by Curly Chopper. Oh my gosh. So, I can't prove it, but I got a feeling that this pedal of steel oh my was gosh. owned by either Bunny Emmons or Curly Chopper. That's crazy. And it's probably from 1961 or 1962. Yeah. Yeah, well, thank you so much for showing me You're around. Very you have an amazing collection here. Everything's so cool. So, we are now in Nashville and we're in Old Red waiting to be seated. We spent about two hours in the guitar store and it was amazing. Everything was so cool. All those vintage guitars. Yeah, my dad, he knew the owner, so he got us to have like a little tour of it and they showed us some really cool things with some really cool history. So, I'll insert some clips from that. And yeah, we're just waiting to be seated. So, I think. Starving. Yeah, I think we're going to go upstairs.